The review stakes date back to the late 19th century. They are called the review stakes because in the early days, these races were sponsored by a harness horse publication called the Review Magazine. Castleton Farm, for the last 10 years or so, has been the presenting sponsor for the Philly divisions, and here they come for the third race. They're often pacing political promise for the lead, and there goes Ruby Speech from the inside. Slap me silly. Gets away racing third. Armbro View is out fourth, and Family Classic is racing fifth, heading into the first turn. Ruby's Beach up to get the lead by two lengths. Political Promise backs away into the second spot as they all go single file against the rail now. Slap Me Silly is racing third. Armbro View is fourth. And Family Classic is fifth, but right there off the opening quarter in 28 and two-fifth seconds. Ruby's Beach leading Political Promise by a length. A gap of two more to Slap Me Silly. Armbro View and Family Classic as everyone stays toward the inside. Nobody stepping out of line as they straighten the way down the back stretch. And everyone stacking up behind Ruby's Beach, who continues to set the tempo here, approaching the half mile mark. Political Promise has just been stalking the leader as they move by the red and white half mile pole in a time of 58 seconds. Slap Me Silly goes third, heading on to the final turn. And then Armbro View, who's patiently waiting with Family Classic at the back. At the entry to the far turn, Ruby's Beach still on top by a length. Political Promise is still there, but still second. Two more lengths to Slap Me Silly, Armbro View, and Family Classic, and they've been this way virtually since the start, and they're at the three quarters. Ruby's Beach trying to give Andy Miller back-to-back -back wins on the card, hit the three quarters in 127 and one. Ruby's Beach leading Political Promise, Slap Me Silly, Armbro View, and Family Classic. They're still that way, one through five, coming off the final turn. Ruby's Beach by two lengths now. Political Promise takes to the outside. Miller gets after Ruby's Beach. Political Promise is getting to her. She's going to go right by. Political Promise. McGee has it timed perfectly. Political Promise draws clear by four lengths to win it. Ruby's Beach was second, and Armbro View was third and 155 flat. In just a moment, we'll meet the winner of today's third race, Political Promise. The result is official. 3-1-A-2 is official for the third race, or 3-1-2 as it appears on the board. Jim Sproul, the marketing director for Castle and Farm of Lexington, Kentucky, getting set to present the trophy for the two-year-old Philly Pace. And this Philly just picked up half of that $43,000 purse. Here's Political Promise, Dave McGee, the winning driver. This filly is by Jate Lobel, bred by Cottonwood Farm Incorporated, owned by Hunt Harness Horses Incorporated, trained by Brian Penske, who sent out three starters in that race. John Cisna of the Review will present the Caretaker's Medallion. He's presenting that to Terry, the caretaker for Political Promise. The medallion says Review Stakes on the front, and it has the Review Stakes logo. And on the back of that medallion, it says My Horse Won the Review. Uh, it's a lot more aggressive now, which is nice. One thing that hasn't changed is 20 years later, Dave is still winning races. Dave, congratulations. Thanks, Kurt. That's Dave McGee. He's the winning driver.